As leader of the orchestra, Sophie knows that much of the evening's success relies on her own performance. She and her colleagues concentrate hard as they rehearse for the last time. We're in Newcastle City Hall now and the concert's in an hour. We've just been rehearsing for about two hours just doing bits of the pieces and now we're going to have our supper. I feel a bit nervous about tonight but I think it'll be all right. As the audience arrives, will Sophie's many hours of practicing be rewarded? Well, folks, what do you think? Well... It's great. It's us. We love it, don't we? Absolutely. The space... We don't need that much power. No, just something to get us from A to A B. A to B. It's perfect. It's, uh, uh, economical. Yeah. And all those cup holders. <laughs> yes, you can never have too many cup holders. Mm -hmm. can, can, can be, um, okay. uh, I'll be... I'll be... I'll be... Um, uh, 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 hello, Barclay Loan. Yes. Uh, People will be buying the new size Chronicle this Thursday so they can play our great dream home competition. Win and you can choose from dozens of new homes across the region. Come home to the Chronicle this Thursday and we could deliver the home of your dreams. The new size Chronicle handles brilliantly. <laughs> The business of learning any musical instrument involves a commitment on the part of both the child and the teacher and the parents and the school. And it's always the case when things get a little bit harder, when you've really got to dig in and keep persevering. Some children find it quite easy in the early stages to get playing, and then you get to this point where the music gets a bit harder, or you suddenly realise that the weather's rather nice and you'd rather go out and play football. I've been through that myself. What's also important is for the child to take part in a musical activity and then when they become more competent to move them away from the school and to go to centralised activities as well. And then of course you can take part in concerts and festivals and play in assembly and so on. Watch the first bar really carefully, you've got your first notes, there's the odd 4-4 four, four bar just for a bit of excitement. You just have to think the space, bar for nothing. Oh, one, two, three. I think that music is important in our lives because we can see things in terms of financial reward, we can see things in terms of getting on, and over the years people have strived to achieve better things. And by involving young people in our work, it's one of the most rewarding things because we know that we're passing something on to them that cannot otherwise be absorbed and developed without which they would be all the poorer, and so would we. We all have our own reasons for choosing the instruments we play, and the motivation often comes from hearing a particular piece of music that we enjoy. I think the guitar is probably the most versatile instrument there is. I, I originally took it up um, out of uh, respect for Jimmy Page, who was the guitarist for Led Zeppelin, and soon became more interested in folk music and classical music. Um, I'll play you a little piece that I'm, I'm particularly uh, fond of. It's um, an Irish harp tune that I've arranged for the guitar and has recently been selected as an exam piece for Trinity College. And this is called Planks to Irwin and it starts with a technique called artificial harmonics. Once hooked, the desire to play music well becomes an essential part of our lives. It means a lot and I get an awful lot of pleasure out of it because whenever I say that I'm playing an instrument, people will always, almost always say, I wish I could do that, I would love to do that. And quite often I'll say to them, well, if I can do it, anybody can. And if I found the time, you can. Um, but I think it is important to actually go out and, and do it. 
I want to play good music. I want to achieve something and I want to do something well. It's equally important to play with other people. When I practice, it's not to play on my own, but the idea that in the near future I'll be playing with other people, you know, and uh, able to keep my end up particularly. Sometimes the, the strain tells on me when I think, oh, we're playing um, something quite difficult and with fast passages in, how can I play that? Harry and Joe arrive to play with a group of amateur musicians of all ages and abilities, known as the Cobwebs Orchestra, because they've blown the cobwebs off their instruments and started to play again. We've tended to go to all the orchestras together, and we find that <clears throat> probably that already fulfills a lot of our needs to, to play together. Yes, mm -hmm. it's another, I say, échappé, it's another avenue of, of escape, you know. And contact with mm -hmm. younger people too. Mm -hmm. That's very important yes. because some of these young people play very well. It's an opportunity for many people who would normally play by themselves to participate in the pleasure, frustration and demands of playing alongside others. In a way, it's, it's quite a challenge, you know. If I were a better player, I don't know whether I'd get any more pleasure out of playing. You know. Yes, you're sort of in love with the instrument and the sound of it, and it's an obsessive uh, activity, for, as far as I'm concerned. But, um, I don't know what I would do without it, actually. <laughs> I don't think gardening would replace it. <laughs> yeah. The commitment to learn is what matters most. And for Alan, driving over 25 miles to his evening lessons shows serious determination, as he arrives for only his fourth guitar lesson, keeping his fingers crossed that he's managed to do enough practicing. Well, I think I'd like to take some grades just to prove that I could do something. And again, it's a sense of achievement. If you don't do any grades at all, then you never know how good you are, how bad you are. But the fact that you've gone through an examination and you've passed makes you feel good and everybody likes to pass I think everybody likes to achieve something and do well um, just how far I'll get I don't really know but time will tell I'm getting more used to keeping my finger in place yeah I used to take you, it well you, away you, but you're happier with that I'm beginning to learn to keep it in place better should we play it yeah. plenty of time one two three Zoe is very, very good um, in that she chooses music to play wisely, but also she, she just has the ability to put music across. And she is the kind of person who commands respect. And I think if you command respect, then you do well or you want to do well. Um, but I find she is, she is a good teacher, and she's very patient, of course, which is an important quality, especially if you're trying to teach me. Getting there. Brilliant. Well done. Excellent. Right. And as Alan makes a small breakthrough, it's a big step for Sophie as she prepares to walk on stage for the first time as leader of the Young Symphonia. You've just got to work as hard as you can every day, and not necessarily think about the future. I mean, th generally think about the future, of course, but I, I think, you know, if you sort of think, well, I'm going to try and be a soloist, or I'm going to try and be this and that, you're going to be possibly thwarted. And I think you've just got to perfect your, your own playing to the best of your ability and get it as good as possible. Then the openings will come. If you're good, if you're saying something in your music, then something will happen. It has to happen. <laughs> 